Good afternoon, third grade. For the last part of our series, we're going to relate shapes, fractions, and area. As always, before we get started, we're going to ask our essential question. How can you divide shapes into parts with equal areas and write the area as a unit fraction of the whole? So let's get started. Let's take a look at this rectangle. I see that is it is divided up into three groups. Now, we need to figure out how we can show that each group has the same area. So let's take a look. Well, first, we need to find the area of each group. So we can do that by counting each block in each group. So for the pink, we have one, two, three, four, five. I also see that I have five for the yellow, and I also have five for the blue. So these so each of these groups have the same area, which is five square units. Now, let's take this further. The rectangle at the right is divided into four parts with equal area. Write the unit fraction that names each part of the divided whole. To answer that question, I need to know, uh, uh, I need to know how many parts make up the whole. So I have one, two, three, four. So my whole is going to be four. And the smallest piece of that whole will be one. So my unit fraction is one fourth. Now we need to find the area of each part and that is as simple as counting the blocks on the inside of the shape. So for my green part I have one, two, three, four, five. So the area for each part is five blocks. Five square. Now, how many one-fourth parts does it take to make up the whole? That's an easy one. So our whole is four, and to fill that, we need four. So four fourths would make one whole. Now, is the shape of each of the one fourth parts the same? Well, if I look at my picture, the green is not the same as blue, it's not the same as purple, and it's not the same as the tan. So, are they the same, are they the same shape? No. For the last task, we need to find out if the area of each of the one-fourth parts is the same. Explain how you know. Well, we figured that out already because each part contains five square blocks. Now for this activity, we need to divide the shape into equal parts. We're going to draw lines to divide the rectangle below into six parts with equal area. Well, first of all, let's figure out how much is there. So let's label our down and our over. So our down, we have one, two, three. And our over, we have one, two, three. We have eight. So for our total area, we have 24 square units. Now, we need to make six equal parts. So, we need to figure out six times what will give me 24. When I think about that, six times four will give me 24. So, we have to make groups of four inside of this rectangle, and we need to make six of them. Now, if I took one of those groups out of the whole, that would be one group out of how many? 
Well, if you said 6, you are correct. So our unit fraction is 1 sixth. And we already figured out that the area of each part is 4. So each part is equal to 1 sixth of the whole shape's area. Now, we need to take this trapezoid and divide it into three equal parts. Now, let's try that first, because if I divide this into three equal parts this way, they're not equal. So we got to get rid of that. That won't work. What about if I take my trapezoid and do this? That won't work, because they're not the same size. So let's get rid of it. How can I do this? What about if I made... That looks pretty good. It's a terrible drawing, but it looks better. So how many equal parts do we have here? So we have one, two, three. Now, we need to write the fraction that names the area of each part. So this part would be Part 1 over how many parts of our whole, which is 1, 2, 3. So it would be 1 third would be our unit fraction. And we have three triangles here. Now we need to select the rectangle that is divided into four parts with equal area. So all parts of my whole have to be the same size. They could be a different shape, but they have to have the same amount. So let's look at, we'll call this number 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that group is 7. Let's see what this one is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are not the same size. That won't work. Let's try number 2. So we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for group 1. For group 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will not work. They're not the same size. Now, how about this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are divided into four equal parts of 6. And our unit fraction for this so would be 1 fourth. To recap what we learned about today, we learned about relating fractions, area, and shapes.